Hello. I'm not one of the best speechers, so I, I will try a little bit to uh, to to, uh, to uh, put you close and maybe to place you some questions and try maybe to get some answers from you. Uh, my first question is it, uh, what time is it? <laughs> uh, don't look at your watch now. Try to guess by feeling. Would you agree if I say it's maybe 6 p.m.? Uh, what does it mean 6 p.m.? Uh, maybe I will see my, my kids soon. I already feel the smell of nice dinner. And definitely it's an end of long work day for everyone. Is it true? What's that? What does it mean our internal clock in our body? Uh, in interlighting, we have a different question. What can we do about your internal clock in terms of lighting? Interlighting is a company which is more than 20 years on the market, uh, developing uh, intelligent lighting solutions and uh, let's say which has the power and strength to be tra uh, transformed from the let's say producer of uh, industrial lighting definitely pass to architectural lighting uh, a lot of self-confidence in all this time and of course some uh, persistence of course recently established an internal research group which, with name Alpha, which deals with development of biologically effective light indoors. Uh, the conclusions are definitely important that not only the visual perception but also uh, well-being and alertness. All of this has to be incorporated into the practice of lighting design. Uh, effects of good lighting extend much further than this. From the research on the biological and the emotional effects of lighting, it's evident that the rules governing the lighting design are not accomplished by today's standards. So, again I'm asking, what time is it? Some uh, theory about this, let's say. Uh, every human body ticks at different rate, but we all respond to day and night. Each cell in our body has its internal clock. So every, every, uh, it's like, has to be worked in like a concert. Every, every, every action in our body between cells and an activity is like a concert. So uh, for all these peripheral clocks involved in this uh, biological process in our body, uh, there it is a uh, master clock which somehow uh, synchronizes all these activities and uh, takes the cue from the natural sun, so from the natural color. We know that our perform performance is of course based on, uh, on timing during the day. We know that usually at 10 a.m. in the morning we are more active depending, of course, on the night before what we were doing. <laughs> and usually it's 3 a.m. in the morning, some activities in our body help us to become more alert during the day after. So, uh, so all this again, the package is daylight. So from the past, we know also that all the nature uh, is, is connected to, this, uh, to these activities. So in our body, uh, who commands these uh, cycles, these uh, these activities, are hormones. Um, hormones also regulate how our food is digested in our body, when our performance peaks, and uh, these circadian rhythms, like in this picture we see, are uh, let's say determined particularly by two uh, main important hormones. It's the melatonin and the cortisol. Uh, melatonin, it's, uh, the, uh, it's a little bit the hormone which slows our activities. Um, and is a help to, uh, to get us, let's say, sleeper in the evening. 
the body temperature falls. Also, this is again a command of the, of the hormones in our body. So in this phase, the body secrets growth hormones that repair also the cells. So this is the reason that we also are better the day after. Uh, cortisol as a second uh, important uh, hormone. Uh, it's a stress hormone. It's produced from 3 a.m. in the morning and stimulates metabolism. Again, the programs of body for day in time operation. The third uh, very important uh, hormone, which is not in this image, is the serotonin. It's, he acts as a natural antidepressant, motivating messenger. It's somehow like an uh, energy drink, we, which we usually took it during the day. It's a little bit who is maintaining the balance if we, when we need more force, when we need have to be, we will have to be uh, more stressed, we need more response. And it's definitely the, the, the hormone which is more active in this 21 century. Uh, many people works we know that work shifts and are let's say more divorced from natural rhythms. Um, performance cure uh, cure over the day. I'm repeating again. It's fitted let's say approximately 10 a.m. and uh, let's say goes down during the day. So what is now connected? How can we connect the lighting to this? So practically, what can we learn from the nature? Um, it needs to be supported, let's say, the biological process that define active and rest phases. Luminaries, luminaries radiate direct and indirect light simultaneously. And the lights which deliver different color temperatures definitely help us uh, for these activities. The second part about the lighting is the light distribution. From uh, where is that white sign means that <coughs> from that direction in our rear part of our eye, there are some ganglion cells which uh, responds better to this natural light uh, in, the, in the nature. So if we create, let's say, a situation in a room where, let's say, more uh, blue light comes from that direction, so means from the proper direction of indirect lighting in the right portion of the light, this means that we can stimulate our, our let's say, uh, receptor, like our eye, to respond better. So again, I'm asking, what's, what's, what, what time is it? It's somehow the learning time. Uh, it's a project what we did after certain, approximately two years ago. It's in Trieste, based. It's, in, it's based, let's say, in a uh, fabulous old old building during um, Austro-Hungarian Imperium in the middle uh, of the of the city. Somehow uh, around there is a forest. It's really rare that in a such a city, because who knows a little bit about Trieste? It's on a hill close to the sea. Really, really difficult access. And it's, uh, in the past, this, this, this building was, was a part of, uh, during that period, like a hunter area. So the, the Fermi Danandeo came to Trieste and got uh, this part of the land like his private, uh, let's say, um, hunting area. So a uh, very prestigious uh, university in uh, Trieste. It's uh, governed by two most important insurance companies in Europe. Uh, it's built in this location and really a lot of chandeliers inside and some classical luminaires. And on a certain point that it was a new building behind this, it's not on a picture, uh, it's completely immersed in a forest, so practically without any contact with natural light. Uh, so immediately when, when we started to talk about the project, I got this idea, oh, let's try to find something what is maybe related to the studies and the test and the luminaries with something developed. In, uh, in this parallel time and immediately came the idea that we have to practically connect to the nature, put the person at the first point, let's say, that the person is the most important thing, not the architectural part, not the building, not uh, the, the, any other activity, but, but the person. So there it is, uh, uh, two main areas, one is it 
a multi-purpose area where with an indirect lighting we were getting, let's say, trying to get a general lighting, not changing colors so the type is not like a uh, like an, uh, like an funny, funny event. But we helped with this indirect lighting, we got, let's say, some different situation because this, this multi-purpose area is intended to be for different events, like also some of their parties, some of their uh, big, let's say, um, uh, teaching situations, or also some uh, congresses which are daily really popular in this, in this situation. And we see there is really, really small windows and we are practically in the under the ground in this, in this situation. Um, the second part is a uh, typical, let's say, teaching uh, area where, uh, where we have here three situations. One is the, let's say, situation that we said before that early in the morning, approximately 10 a.m., it's uh, very important that there we have more light, colder light. Of course, with the students, it's even more important that in the morning because the days after, the nights are quite active for the students. Uh, and this is the situation, the upper situation, so we have colder light, maybe close to 8,000 or in some, some situation 10,000 kelvins. Um, in the second case, it's a normal situation during the day, and your normal operation where we have something approximately 4,000 kelvins, and maybe close to, let's say, uh, light levels, as let's say the regulations and laws are asking and uh, requesting. The third situation is, of course, a more uh, for some, let's say, congresses and these events where, let's say, of course, the colder, uh, the warmer color is the most important thing, and the color is approximately 3,000 or 2,700 case. And of course, let's say this dynamic situation of this uh, of this building was correlated, of course, to the manual situation because there were there were, of course, some activities like writing some tests for students where were needed different situation of the light. And um, I can just say that maybe after one year after the installation, I was very surprised because I got some information from the site that uh, the students were very satisfied and uh, just comparing the tests, what was the students were doing in this new building and the, let's say old building are quite different, so much better results of the students writing, let's say, their final tests in this new building comparing to the, to the, to the old one. So uh, definitely there is a lot of written things about uh, the theory of color changing or better, better situations in the room. And I can say that in this case, we didn't make a study, but we just proved from, the, uh, from the, their words, their, their situation of the, of the student that there is a, there is really a an, uh, an better situation. So, at the end, I'm asking you again, uh, what time is it? <laughs> if, uh, if you feel that I ask you, uh, let's say, uh, this question, let's say something like five minutes ago, I did my job well. <laughs> so my internal clock can be, let's say, switch, switch to the relax mode. Uh, so if not, I'm sorry that I bothered your internal clock. <laughs> Thank you.